I think most of all TACT has to be seen as an educational resource to all the people in the community. Um, it's kind of an opportunity for kids here to learn about the wildlife that is local to them and to try and understand the effects that um, hunting and construction can have on the local wildlife and their habitats. Um, all the animals we get have been given in by people from the community who just know about us and they um, find them either injured or they've been abandoned and they just bring them in. Um, I joined TAC as a volunteer when I was 15. Um, my friend was getting involved with TAC due to her presence award and she asked if I would keep her company. I very quickly became really attached to the animals and the centre itself and I've now been working here for five years. I joined from my Duke of Edinburgh um, for the gold. I was only supposed to do six months, but I've been here almost two years, so. Um, sometimes I would do the ferrets, um, if not many people are here, but otherwise I would do birds of prey and go in and I would feed them. And sometimes I would foster. I had to foster about four birds at once. I had a duckling two baby pigeons and a house parton and I had to get up at four in the morning to feed them. We have a lot of different animals attacked. We um, have mainly birds of prey, it would be uh, buzzards, kestrels, owls, we even have some barn owls and we have a peregrine falcon as well. Um, we also have a lot of domestic animals as well which all can be rehomed and um, that's including rabbits, ferrets and chickens. We have plans for a lot of new fundraising opportunities and we're trying to get them up and running at the minute. Um, we plan to reopen to the public in or at the latest early September so that we can kind of have implemented all these changes by then. We hope to raise around 50,000 by the start of August so that we can get that all sorted. Um, some of the animals can't be released because they've either got um, terminal illnesses that would just spread through the disease and just would be very detrimental to the species. Um, some of them unfortunately, um, their injuries did mean they have to lose um, either a wing or some legs, which of course means that they can't fend for themselves out in the wild. Uh, others have been reared since they were babies, so they have became too tame and too used to human contact, so they also wouldn't be able to fend for themselves. Um, I just think it's for a great cause and that it's good to be able to help out a charity. I would like to see TACT restored to what it once was, like a open to the public visitor centre where people can kind of come in and walk around and actually learn a lot about the animals that we have here. I would hope for it to become more recognised, so if you had mentioned TACT people would know what it is and that it would get more funding, and more donations, so we can make it better. Uh, we want to get a lot of the sheds rebuilt, we want to get uh, many of the pens rebuilt because a lot of the wood has kind of rotted a bit. Um, we also hope to get the paths paved so that it's easier for those with wheelchairs. I would hope that it becomes more supported and that the renovations which need to take place could actually happen and that it could get back and be the way it was before.